Yeah, so this is fascinating. So this maybe the technology stuff. caught up where we don't need green screens at all. Ladies and gentlemen, you've welcomed. I don't have a green screen. A cow sales you podcast. Lie. And look at this. Hey, one person. I hit what and then um, participants. In your right hand corner of your of the whole screen, it should be a word called view. There's no word. There's a camera that I can flip around or. Hey, yeah. I got us all. We are recording. I um, we have been. Just so you know, this was a little example. What John just went through, what all of you just saw a little bit of, just a little bit, was what the three of us went to through in terms of. Did you see it? You can hear it's us. Too you can't much. Hear funny stuff. It took us so long to get up to Zoom. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. Wait, I'm, should we welcome everybody? Oh yeah, we started the episode. We got welcome our brother John. Welcome everybody to the Cowsill Podcast. We're with very our very old. special guest where's john um actually john? that's the name of our episode no, this is john is here forever yeah. and they're never getting rid of me again yeah, because oh, john, every time john, i john. no because every time i watch their podcast i wish i was on it with them to talk to whoever because we all share the same stories and i only get to hear you guys talking and i want to interject and i can't you're going to you're going to interject the what, hell out of us today john i'm going to admit <laughs> i'll admit an error <laughs> But we got what? so excited, we we ran with it. Okay, but I, it was an error to not what? have Johnny. But because we've been going through all the houses we've been living in, and to not have John there, with yeah, we're going to recap though. Look at his oh, face. We can't do him over. I thought when you guys did your podcast, like I would be part of your podcast, not where's John. But no, and you're I just where's John. No, I'm not ever again. Okay, John. John, look, you're a part of this podcast. Let's do this. Excuse me. Damn right. Can I answer his accusation there? Yeah. Okay. It's not an accusation. When John was a BB, you know, I'm not going to mention the name, but John was a BB. We had him on, I think, three times. Where's when John? It was, when it was, where is John? Okay. I no know. Mas, oh, now here star. is John. No, Mas, don't they start one? I one need a gig. A key. One is a key. But <laughs> I yeah, need a I podcast. Was, once I got on Halladen Hall, uh, and we didn't have John there. That, uh, all right, well. Whatever. Paul has something to say, and I'm directing to him. Go, Polly. No, I, I just have a, I, John, so are you in California or New York as we speak? Paul, as you and I speak, and excluding the other two, I'm in New York. Oh, okay, okay. okay. But I'll be, but we're moving back in September. You are. To Cali. Oh, we house. don't want to. We don't want to move back, but we are. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, really? The song by the Happenings comes to mind. Okay, great. Well, good. Why don't you? Why would you like to stay where you are? Tell us. You. I just. I. I feel the East Coast, you guys. You I do? feel the East Coast. Yeah, I love it. I love and the East the Coast. City, John. The city. You know, we have. I don't live, but but I don't live in the city. I live in Brooklyn. I live and in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Feel city to you. Mm. I feel sick. Brooklyn is neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Brooklyn is neighborhood, and yeah. like, there's a car rental place and a car, two car lots at the end of my block. You know what I mean? Oh wow! Like uh -huh. that's where I rent my car from. Nice. There, there's, there's, there's McDonald's, there's Taco Bell, but then there's like the best restaurant, Chadwick's, Br Brooklyn kind of Roots. Best of all the world. Yeah. Are you quest a question? Are you? Did you mention a rental car place? To, to point about where you live and how convenient it is to get one or that because a guy yes. that brags about a city because mm -hmm. they have a rental car place i don't know about that no that's the cool thing because i'm pointing out we are not a city yeah. not a yes. not like yes, not like that. midtown not like manhattan i'm hearing you i'm hearing you like there's well, car lots people own cars here okay and, then may and, i ask for all of our listeners want to know as do mm -hmm. i why are you moving back because I have a big house there that I need to address some issues there. My studio is there. My big piano is there. Okay. And 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 just have I have to I have to really I have to go do maintenance. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 And what do you then, got, Polly? And, and my brother Bob lives in California. <laughs> I was just gonna say that if you leave a house up in Malibu like that, you know, with nobody there, nobody taking care of it, then it's gonna just age and needs it shit does. as it, you go. It needs, Polly, it needs cosmetic, like big yeah. cosmetic, like maybe a little bit of siding changed out last oh, time I was whoa. there. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I got, I my whole, Paul and I are talking, Um, 
Am I talking to you, Susan? Let's talk. Hey, Bob, listen, how's it going oh, over I, there with the kids? Wow. I can't. You won't believe it. I'll tell you after John and Paul are done. Hang on. Hang on. Bob and Susan, shut up, please. <laughs> Thank you. What are you saying, John? No, because Paul knows what I'm talking about. So in, in the kitchen, we have that glass atrium by the kitchen sink, you know, the big glass oh, area. God. Well, oh, the, yeah, the, the supports for that are rotted out oh, on the no far way. right side. Oh, so I got to yank those out. I got to fabricate oh. to make it look like all the other ones, which are all sandblasted, you yeah. know, and trip and the triple up. And I have to shore that up and try to avoid breaking all the glass. So I, I'd oh, rather right. have somebody else do it, but I'm going to end up Ooh. having to do it. Outsource. Yeah. Outsource. You need an assistant for All that. Right. Somebody's got to hold a piece. He knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, moving on. Yes. org. Oh, I think yeah, Bob and I can grasp it. So it you guys, have, you guys have been touring. Oh no, you're not interviewing us, buddy. That's not. How it <laughs> you're not interviewing me either. Wait, wait, We're just yes, shooting we the shit. This is just, no, you're not. This, Susan, you're dreaming. You don't know what this episode is. This is the first episode of You Can't Get Rid of Me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Oh my god, Johnny, Johnny boy. You, know, don't give us gonna, you, you can't you cannot have secret podcast um tapings okay. without me <laughs> listen we interview John. each other so you have to be interviewed all right hold on no, you hold can't on. play <laughs> hold on go Bob. what thank you john calm down what all right uh, you gotta calm down all right take I it can't. easy Yes, right. you can. No. You can right. What do you got, Bob? Okay. Say like something. Telling Paul, like telling Paul to calm down. Stop. I want, I want to, no, well, now we got, we got two triggers in the in the four squares. Okay. <laughs> Susan, you're still in New Orleans. You're home. Paul, you're still in Madras. Right? Yeah. Johnny Boy's in Brooklyn. Yeah, By the yeah. way, that Malibu house, Paul's right. If you don't go and you leave it empty, the other thing that is a risk these days is you return to occupants. So you got to keep that what? house filled. No, he's yeah. got occupants. <laughs> no, no. If you leave an empty house, people will take it now these days. Mean squatters, squat Bob, you mean squatters, Bob? It's a problem. <laughs> hey, I don't think I they believe, squat I believe in Malibu. That. <laughs> yeah. Bob, And Bob, everyone knows. Bob, the they rainy... don't squat in Malibu. Yes, they do. They know the rainy season's over, and behind John's house is a creek that's running. They're going <laughs> to, you keep that house filled. Why don't you just give them the address, Bob? <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> oh, everyone John, knows. John, may I ask you Guys, something, please? You've had a very fun experience recently, and I would really like to talk to you about it. You played with the smithereens, and I would love for you to tell us how that was. Now, this is, you guys, ever since Pat died, the smithereen guys have been looking for um, a lead singer. They insert, what, who, who do they have usually, John? They use, they use Robin oh, Wilson. Cool. They use Rob, Robin Wilson, who's with the Jim, Jim Blossom, Jim Blossom. And then... And then Marshall Crenshaw, who's Marshall Crenshaw. And now you. Yeah, because those guys both are on tour and the smithereens can't work if they're on tour. And, and just try just trying to book a show and like, hey, are you guys working this time? Well, we don't know. So now time's going by. So it's hard to book in advance. Copy, copy. So, so, you know, that was kind of my audition. I played with them the night before last. And it and, looked uh, amazing. I passed. I passed the audition and oh. and so they want to book more dates and we'll just okay. see how that rolls. Yeah. So I, I saw last night, I saw like a 56 second kind of thing uh, with you and the smithereens. I just put you and smithereens in your two names and this 56 second thing came up. Do you know what I'm speaking about, John? I don't, Paul. Oh, OK. Well, anyway, so if that was you singing an award show. I don't, Paul. Good job. <laughs> you said the F word on our podcast. If that's, if that's you singing. I, I haven't heard me yet singing anything. Uh, yeah, it's well, out there. There's a piece, John, that you can actually hear you, and it's great. It's audio? You sure it's me? No. <laughs> yeah. It sounds good, though. So yeah. it's either Pat or you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Kershaw. And it's not the other it's person. Not, it's not a video. It's not a video. It's, it's, not, it's not Doug Kershaw. <laughs> no, not Doug Kershaw. Paul, the 56 seconds is not mm -hmm. a video. It's a clip. It's a clip with uh with Jim whoever's... just standing there. And oh, then it's, an audio, it's, it's not audio it's thing. not it's not me. That's yeah. gotta be Pat. They're playing a record yeah. or something. That's not oh. that's not me. I don't sound like Pat. I sound like oh, me, Kermit. Like Paul, I, I sound like me. Talking. I sound like me. I think you can go there right now. You, we could solve we'll it. Go find it, you guys. This is when we usually get our phones out and start Googling. Like I like got it Googling. right here. I have all my videos queued up just in case we were going to talk about me. Look, his phone but disappears. You guys, 
Oh, we're going to talk about you, all right. We yeah, want to know that's stuff, what we man. brought you here for. <laughs> hey, look at my new arm. I know. Look, I do this all the time. <laughs> like your look, inner arm, John. I can have like I can be armless. Juan Capistrano, can we actually conduct a couple of questions with you, please? If you must, I must. Okay. Huh? Go ahead, John. Fear I would like to know if you have to... any desire. Now this is live. Now we can edit, and I want you to know that, John. Oh, yeah. anything that you say. Oh, I know you're to gonna, say. you're gonna, you're gonna Howard Stern me to we'll death. Edit the hell well, if we must, but what I'd like to know is if you're willing at all. I mean, look, there's an elephant. Are you willing to discuss that your hang on, from hang the on. I knew he was gonna freaking do that, you guys. I swear. Hey, Ringo, what's going on, man? <laughs> Ringo, Don't exactly. Get me talking about Ringo in here. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm talking with my family right now. Hey, ask him if he'll be on our podcast. Hey, do you want to do my family's podcast? Hell yeah, I'll do it. Man, I totally understand. <laughs> I totally understand. Okay. okay. This is part they, they'll, un they'll understand too. Okay, um, Ring. Don, can I get hey, you back? Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you and I'll I'll give Last you that address. Special. You can send me however much money you want to for that. All right. All right. Love you Hang guys. On. John, bye -bye. John, John. Okay. John, guys, I'm back. John, you're fired. You're fired. John, you're fired. How is Ring going to fire him? John, <laughs> what? How do you feel questions? about being an ex Beach Boy? Hang on. Hello. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna. Hello, move Jackie. On. Now like hello, hello, hey, guys. hello, Jackie. Oh, guys, let's let's go over our game, okay? <laughs> let's pay attention to our business and then let this let, let this guy distract us. Uh, let's go Wait, through he our was gigs. Just calling Jackie. And let we're gonna we're gonna ignore John. Like we did probably for most of his childhood, and that's part of the problem where he apologized for that. <laughs> I apologize uh, that I didn't listen more when John was Oh, they was say this to me all six, the time. Let's try seven, and ignore them, John. Eight, this is nine, when Bob was talking to one another. 12 or 13 or 14 or 15, probably, maybe even right. 16. Right. I started listening to John. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, that's what I would like John, to wrangle this. No, I'll, I'm going to, I want to know something. Okay. Well, Bob, good luck. Okay. okay. I want to know if the smithereens, when you play with them, and I'm just curious because I love the band. Are you working ear monitors? You're working foot monitors. How do they roll? How does that band roll? How do they, what do they do? Well, Bob, the, uh, I'm just acting <laughs> like he was in Israel. <laughs> he was there, there, we have a satellite delay. I'm in uh, Guatemala right now on oh, a, uh, on a all 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 inclusive a camping trip. <laughs> no, you just had your hurricane. Could you tell us about your tent? The smithereens uh, roll really the really easy compact package. Paul's mic is Jim, off. Jim Jim has his um, Marshall stack, bass rig, drums. Really simple. That's it. And so in ears um, in ears me, and monitor. I well, it was my first gig, and I had a choice. So when I got there, all they had was monitors, but I brought my in ears with me, and and there everybody was supposed to have them except Jim doesn't use them. Dennis uses them, and and That's uh, part of the scene. Se Se Severo uses them, and so do I. Do you like them? Can you sing okay like that? I've never been able to. It's the best way to sing because I can hear 440 and I'm not yelling over a monitor. You know, if you're working alone and you're the person up front, that's the easy bit. You know, I can use a monitor. But with a rock band blowing behind me, like on 11, it was uh, loud, uh, dude. I was so glad to have my ears. I told Jesus, you know, I, I can listen to a baseball game and do the show. Nice. <laughs> it's baseball ear, season. <laughs> ear in monitors. Can you have the house mix in there and sing to that? I wouldn't want that. Can you though? Yeah, you, you can, can have, have anything, anything you want. I, you can have anything you want in there, but no, you know, hold like on. a lot of but, people like putting the crowd response in there. I don't like that. It gets them. No, I got it. Who does the in ear mix? Your monitor tech or your house person? M monitor. So it's just like a monitor. Okay, and you order. It's a it yeah. They're, that's why they call yeah. them in ear monitors. It's the same they're thing as on the floor. It's just instead of I, it, 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 for me that I've you tried them twice. And I just feel so separated from the music physically, and it's just because well, that's how I'm used to. I'm I've, sure. I've heard this. I've heard this complaint forever. They take a little bit of time to get used right. to, and you really can't try them out unless you have the molds made. Because they're said, "Oh, I tried them. I hated them." I said, "Well, did you have molds made?" No, but if because yeah, they just have the, the the tractor kind they put in there. 
you know, you can't, I mean, they're okay, but they're not a good representation right. of what in-ear monitors are. And Right. What do you got, Paul? Uh, well, so if you were to have a one ear, one ear with the <laughs> ear monitor, and then the other ear not, wouldn't you hear all the audience? You'd hear everything in real time, but still be able to hear? <laughs> I highly... I highly do not recommend that. Although my wife does it, other people do it. Uh -huh. It's not good for your equilibrium. It's not good oh, for your God, hearing. Yeah. It's not good for multiple to e e pick either or. <laughs> you know, I so mean, to keep yourself, right to keep yourself right balanced. She doesn't like them either. She's, she's, you know, like you, Susan. Like I want to feel the band. I want to think. Yeah. I don't need that. I need to sing, and that's okay. all I care about. <laughs> Everybody's got their needs, man. I, that's I don't cool. care like, about how bad it is. About. I just can I sing in tune, and that's right, like my right. that's that's my goal of the night. And right, you know, that's exciting. Then you I just got to trust everything else. <laughs> well, I hear everything else, but I get to choose yeah. how loud I want things in my ears. It's the same as a floor monitor. It's just right. I can have, right. and because it gets rid of. Because it's about the monitor wars, you know, I'll turn mine up, but you'll, you know, and it now you'll need more of you because you hear too much of me and mine right, and right, we're right. close enough on the stage. It gets, it gets daunting and guitars coming through the amps and the monitors and it's like, ah, <laughs> don't give me a side <laughs> fill, man. Keep the side fills away from me. It just scares me. What do you but, got, Bob? I think we need to move on from this absolutely riveting segment on ear monitors. <laughs> this is and for I all the geeks out the there. <laughs> I, when I, remember when I said we're going through the houses and uh, oh, yeah. and I thought yeah, of John. We got house I, I do have a question. John at Halden Hall. Were you oh. at all? Because no, but our ages, we're living whatever. I'm asking you, were you in with me and Rich and, and Dick and Bill? I guess no, Bill wasn't really in and Paul with these sea snarks and chasing the ferry. You, uh, you know, I'm there. I'm what there. You, Harbor, ma so Harbor master and all. <laughs> oh my God. How did wow. they let you get I was Dick, Dickie, Dickie brought me. I always sat in his because you, you and Paul. Man. Ah, Dickie yeah, had to have another guy. And I pushed the keels down and he was, you know, I just made it sure it didn't come up. We capsized. It was styrofoam. We loved it. Right, right. <laughs> we out far enough to make the, the ferry. ferry honk to make it honk the horn so it's like well, he was there you, did, did tell. Did put you in a in a one-man sea snark and did that well With i can't Dick. imagine how mom and dad didn't find out about that i mean our age i got um, it up on halladen hall mom and dad were not paying a lot of attention to us i didn't think so either it was, no, if, it we got the the harbor master, on if it wasn't for the harbor master you would have never said anything yeah, no, for I mean, real. We would, no, we would have still, we would have been killed by fairies. <laughs> yeah. I, I the, almost did. The, the goal was, and I don't know if it ever happened because I was really little, but I do remember the goal was to get between them, like go get past them before they did this, you know, and that was a big time yes. period you could get through. So you're, so you're hoping you have enough wind and go to get across. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's right, Paul, because what he's describing yeah. Is the plan uh, after the ride of getting back to Bannister's Wharf up to Thames Street and walking back? I mean, you had to get to a certain place out there to accomplish that, or you're coming back to King's Park. You exactly. Know? And you yeah. do not, you can't, because you're going against the, the current now trying to get back in. You die. Yeah. You, Why is what? Barry not involved in this? Because Barry was Barry still. He didn't want to do fun things like that? No, he did do fun things, and he, but he was. I don't know. Uh, John. Yeah. I don't know. I roomed with them all the time, except oh, Halladen oh, oh, and Hall. Here's the other thing, John. So oh. Halladen Hall, it's it's you and Barry and Rich on the, on the very, third floor. Yeah, Barry, I, Barry and I on the very toppest you could top, go, top, and then Rich is okay. Rich is that half slip split level He's over on Mom and Dad's side. Yeah, about okay. there. Okay. And he he had that monkey. long long room. Yeah, huh? You're you're above the monkey. The monkey was monkey up there. Room. The, Rich Rich, had a monkey. Dick had. Dicko the monkey. Everybody says I had a monkey. I never had a monkey. Richard had a monkey. You were above the monkey. The on monkey. The fourth. No, yeah. we were not. We were we on the other the side. He, oh. he was, Rich, Rich's room was the top of that side of the house. And then and Barry then and I, are... we we got the um the vaulted, the middle vaulted part of the house and all the dormers up on the very top. So so it went up just and our rooms were more. like little rooms up there with the roof I line in our bedrooms. Rooms yeah, me too. Me Ceiling too. was the roof. Hey man, that's 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 all revolver for me. That oh yeah, that good day sunshine. 
Oh, Revolver and Absolutely. Mamas and Papas, Mamas Chats and Man. Papas, uh, Chax Man. That that yeah. uh, being upstairs listening to that album constantly. Yellow Submarine. Sergeant what about Pepper it? came in uh, in '67. After that, we're, we're still there. And remember we're still me there. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Sergeant Peppering about. Oh, wow, they John's had a lot of right. records out in a lot, yeah. in like three. What they had like Rubber Soul, Revolver, and 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 Sergeant Pepper all at once. Revolver is the one that. They, that plants you at Halladen Hall. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Good day than, sunshine for the sure. Early day, yeah. The early days of Halladen Hall is yes, revolver yes. for me. And the that's, we're still, at, we're, we're still at Newching or King towards the end, but now we're upstairs at Halladen Hall. Look at my hair. I just saw King. David Ray last week. He looked great. I know you John, did. You and, yeah, you and Vicky saw him. We saw a picture. We hung out on his boat with him and everything. We had a blast, man. We went to I dinner and walked in on him. It's in that a bangle great... to get on a boat. Okay, I'm going to bring her yeah. up next time. <laughs> no, it just happened to be he was going to be there all day because we were having these funny races. And he took, uh, Bob, you know about um, Ahab, his little motorboat that he takes out racing periodically. It's like a, the worst boat you could possibly own. It's so narrow. It shouldn't be in the ocean type of boat. You know, same thing. Drunken sailor shit. <laughs> you How know. fun. How it was fun. good to see Bannister's Wharf. It looked so good. You guys, yeah. I saw a video of 4th of July down there, and it looked insane. Yeah. It, it looked yeah. like Bourbon Street. Down yeah, I know about that. I'd like to go watch fireworks in Kings Park. That would be fun. Yeah. I know about that East Coast thing, man. When you're there, it's like I mean, you feel your it. home. You feel you're from the East Coast. You're from the oh, Northeast. The, and the cool night, foggy, foggy kind of muggy nights. Oh, man, it's yeah. been feeling so good. It feels oh, so good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Rhode Island at the beginning of August and see Auntie Hannah before we leave and all the Brooks's people. Oh, and, then, uh, and then we're going to go up to Vermont for a week. And I'm going to see Bill Kinsey up there. Bill, hey, wow. he who's I do that and get you guys? <laughs> Auntie Anne, Paul, Auntie Anne. They call Auntie her Anne. Hannah now. Auntie Anne is now called. That's her Hannah name. Mother. Oh, she told us the whole thing. I I went to go visit her on her. Tell birthday. us the story. The boys don't know the Hannah Ann story. Tell okay, us. Okay, I I went to go visit her on her birthday, and I said, "Well, what's the address?" And they gave me the address. Uncle Bobby's wife. Yeah, yeah Uncle, Uncle Bob's wife. We, yeah, we have listeners. Oh, we don't know podcast. who these people are. Uh, Tell them what they are. Okay, oh, so right. Anna. Okay, so Auntie Anne, Anna. I'm looking for where Auntie Anne and Uncle Bob live. And uh -huh. I'm getting Scott directions and I got in my phone, I get to the place and I'm looking at the numbers and I'm saying, man, it's not right. And there's Easter eggs and saying love Hannah on a on a yard. I ain't paying attention to that shit. <laughs> Who's so Hannah? It's like I'm looking for Annie Ann's yard. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I called them up. Finally, I got uh, Julie on the phone and she says, well, it's got some Easter eggs on the on the lawn and, and her name. I said, I see one that says Hannah. He says, yeah, that's her. That's yeah, how I learned my name. Auntie Ann, who yeah. I called her Auntie Ann for my whole life. We all did. Auntie Hannah. And it was so fun because she says, oh, I know. Well, Jean and everybody, because she moved in with the grandma from mm -hmm. Ireland, you know, because uh, Jean. And uh, so they just called her Anne. And so, so they said, you shouldn't be called Hannah. That's old fashioned. You'll be called Anne. And so she said, OK, oh. you know, she still had her oh. brogue and everything, you know. Yeah. So well, what's they funny changed about her Austin name. Anne, you guys, is I was always under the impression the last time I went to see Uncle Bob, I was talking with Auntie Anne and I went, Auntie Anne. How long were you a nun? And she goes, What? I thought Auntie Ann was a nun. Because I Auntie had Auntie Jean. Seen, I had her, but it wasn't even Auntie Jean, it was Auntie Jean's friends. That yes, were yes, 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 yes. Oh, but yes. I Always. somehow and Auntie Ann looked at me and went, I was never a nun. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine assigning that to someone? <laughs> Courtney, when Courtney went to Stalbe Regina, when, when, when Courtney went to Salve Regina College in Newport, yeah. Rhode Island, yeah. there was, and this is from dad's side of the family, a nun, Sister Cowsill. Yep, Sister Cowsill, or whatever her, she went by her first name, but she introduced herself to Courtney and she was from the family. Yeah. Wow, she ran that place. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm out, yeah. Polly, go. No, so 
What are you saying? Thank you. You're saying that there's a sister, a nun. She's not there anymore. But when Courtney was there, this is you know years ago, there was a sister from dad's side of the family that became a nun. And I forgot her first name. And she ran Salve Regina for about four or five years. This sister. Wow. That is unreal. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Is... I think I remember her name. I think it was a bitch. <laughs> no. oh, we're not supposed to cuss on this podcast. She wait, made wait. she made a thought of that about the other women in the family and took went wait. south to the to God. One but I don't know. That here. is crazy. Wait, did you wait. know her, Bob? Did no, you no, meet wait. her? No. She, she, this is insane. We can't even tra trace. I would have to, I could research. I could research it again. At the time, you know, they saw her coming in, saw the name. I said, well, this can't be. And it was this is insane. And it we became have little like really to well. no and I confirmed it. I confirmed it with somebody. I, I don't know who I wow. called. Said, wow. Do we have a nun in the family, you know. And she ran the place, she was the head. I cannot believe you all didn't sit her down and ask her who she was related to and how I mean so Aunt L, so dad and Aunt L, this was their mother's sister or their father's yeah. sister. We don't I don't know. No idea. No, it because be dude, cousin. you guys, there's so many cow sales. Because yeah. in New Zealand, I was there. Yeah, New Zealand. Like, how yeah. still is huge? And yeah. I met John. I mean, they came looking for Not me. Says, we have now. to be somehow. We have to be connected right, to this right, right, this right, 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 entity, right. Knew, this name. Oh yes, they knew the rock famous family rock and roll group that this nun was associated. We're famous while well, she's a nun. You know, they know wow. who we are. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And honestly, you anyway, guys, it's hard to find, it's hard nuggets. to trace dad's ancestry. Like, oh, it's I've been working on it. It's yeah, hard impossible. to get past a certain peoples. So, I, I mean, this is fascinating to me. I wish the heck we knew what her name was. Can you try to find that out? Yeah, I can, get, I can find okay. out. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah. We'll be back after this message. Y'all We will, but we don't have sponsors. So we're back. And thanks for listening. Oh, okay. We have my brother. Yeah, yeah, we found out her name is we Wilhelmina. We should do. <laughs> Mina. Wilhelmina Cowsill. Yeah. Will and Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Dad had a twin sister. Will, Will, Will is. Oh. Will, no, no. Will is meaner, Cowsill. Ah. This is just, I can't believe Courtney didn't try and figure that out, but maybe at that, that is, time she wasn't. I never heard that. That is so I, crazy. I never was, heard it either. Listen, I think he's making it up. When she went in there, <laughs> she went in there with that last name in the Newport. Okay. And they don't know me from nothing, my kids. I mean, they do, but you know, it's the rare, oh, are you, is your dad, blah, blah, blah. But in Newport, yeah. it was a whole different ball game in that, in that school when she was there. Yeah. And remember, Richard, Richard um, and Brian were a strong presence on the island. Okay. So was that Courtney good was or was that bad? Uh, <laughs> I'll let you figure depends. that out. And God bless everybody. But you know, Rich was rich, and there were one. I guess one time she came into a, a Savon drugstore or something in Newport just after Rich had left, <laughs> and the uh, the lady saw the same last name, of course, and you and know, ran screaming. And, and she, no, no. <laughs> and, and he said, "Well, th that's my uncle Richard." And he says, <laughs> "Well, he's very or some kind of phrase that said, it, you know, how everyone loved him, and but he's over the top." So whatever she said, it was like, yeah, that's, work, him. She's, probably was. that's him, she said. <laughs> that was the end of that. So, yeah, wow. it was a, a big deal back then. Um, that was nuts. Ryan was at Middletown High School. Things were trying to be recreated, like from your memories, but it's not going to work out kind of thing. And, but when you yeah. go home, gonna, you mean? To go south, home? Yeah. It's gonna yeah. Go to yeah. New Mexico. Yeah, go home. Go home. Yeah. Um, am I not allowed to ask John any real like questions? No. Are we just going to hang out? Okay, fine. Okay, fuck yeah, no. Okay, great. Don't want any, um, so, so what does everybody do? Do you want to ask me? Well, ask ask me anything. Ask you about the record you made, but I, I don't have to. We can just keep this just the gang. That's well, fine. <laughs> no, I'm just wiggling my hand. Oh, you love the what you're doing with it. It's I think we enough. should all take take a couple of minutes and just so like scratch our fingers. We don't have sponsors. We don't have intermissions. We don't have breaks. Okay, right, let's we just bring keep John going. to the other houses. Then, okay. how about no? That? I want to go back to the music. So, okay. what people have heard about this. That this is not a secret that John and Vicky are recording. We think it's exciting. We think it's amazing, and and they're doing Bill and Barry songs. We all yeah. know it. They sound yeah. great. We've yeah. heard. Yes, the family has heard cuts because everyone's go. Oh, wait, you it sounds hear phenomenal. Anything? John has shared some of it. We're going to let him know that we. He's love had it. a little he trouble along the way with it. Nope. 
We don't know what state you're at, though, but that's what we know so far. John, look at my mouth. We're in negotiations with a, a record company, Flatiron. You are? Label 51, yeah. Well, For, you know, you know, You know, Bill. Oh, well, you haven't sent us back the no, but second that's draft. Cool. Yeah. All right, so then this yeah. will see the light of day. Just Maybe. remember. Well, eventually it'll see the light of day. I just don't know by who. Yeah, you understand. Here's the deal. And, okay, and we just, you know, just, just got a booking agent and um, probably have a manager now. So just so we can get help and go and move. And oh, you're going to really do it the right way. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Stack your it's desk. my it's my first time being like the the people, you right. know, as instead of somebody's mm -hmm. bitch drummer. Right, so, right. You know. Wow. So are you manageable? We, we are. Well. So We've that's why we're asking. not. We've been told there we're you. not. There but you go. Managers leave us. To yeah, tell they, us leave. they leave us high. We just, we, we just didn't have fifteen percent of anything to give to somebody because <laughs> yeah. there was nothing. To the, give. the only reason I have those guys is because they're hungry and they're going to find something worthy to make well, their fifteen really percent cool, on, though, John, which gives you your nut. That's <laughs> you know, great hopefully. news. Yeah, though, yeah. That you guys found a place for. Same it thing with a a good booking agent. You know, it's like, and we want to work, so we're just and we're easy. You know, we're like two inputs. Where you yeah, cannot name, you're cheap, you, Dave. you can't you can't name our band in the way. <laughs> nice. Because right, that's us, that's usually the opening act's name under everybody's breath. Oh God, you're gonna be in the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I like it. That's a good one. The, the headliners don't want to move their stuff, and not, right. it's understandable. And so you know, and so they don't want a whole band in front. Of, well, we need to borrow these mics. Oh God, there goes the neighborhood. You know, it's like so, yeah. and and now you're called in the way. Who's who's opening for you in the in way? The way. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So oh, with cool. two inputs, we're we're on and off. So it's pretty uh -huh. easy. Yeah, and, yeah, and you know, yeah, we yeah. don't when you know, we don't just do Barry and Bill songs. We do songs we wrote. We do, you know, right. I'll, I'll do a castle song. She'll do a, a bangle song, you know. It's just, um, we just oh god, you mix it up. Me. Like like you, I gotta play 90 minutes and yeah, I count my hits or none. <laughs> my hits, my my hits are none. <laughs> right, <laughs> unless right, I right, unless right. I do oh, yeah. unless I do. Unless I do a couple of our hits at my Thank show. Thank you. you know, right. yes. well, I was going to say, you do have other songs. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, no, I, I, I've i learned here. And, and, when you uh, were in probably... the Beach Boys, when you were yes. in the Beach Boys, everybody came to our shows asking us if we would sing Help Me, Rhonda. So we know what that's like. <laughs> okay. And, and we didn't do it. Yeah, people we always ask, it. can you do a council song? Yeah, of course I can. You know, always, I, like that I mean, Honor. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give them every album cut that you guys don't do, and like ah. I'll do I'll do I'll do the Cowsills un un um I'll do, a, I'll do I'll do I'll do a John Cowsill does the Cowsill deep cut tour. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> May I respond? Or because Cowsill John, should do. Whole... I always thought I always thought you guys should do covered in vinyl Cowsill album, and then you do oh, mix so... it up with your with your other songs. You know, people okay, would well, love that shit. Honest. On the Susan, Susan, Susan's in the in the Aurora. <laughs> yeah, she can do that. Okay, John. What, Bob? What were we just talking about? We were talking about action skulls, cow seals, action me and skulls. How's Bill Moomy? Here's Bill's my Moomy's big question. Awesome, man. Here's my big what? question. So, because you kind of brushed through it so quick, songs we wrote so you've written songs with vicky is this a new thing you've done it all along we don't know no some i've written with in action skulls and some um oh the, okay i mean some i'm brand stuff. new writer guy so you know yeah never but, um, i started when i was 34. <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's fun it's it's fun yeah, um it is fun. nice business question is there an official website or facebook or so we're trying to promote instagram John. or social media on youtube if, at all if 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 you just type in vicky and john dot com it'll take you to our website for real people there you like go barbie and ken and that's V I C K. but it's, but it's got to be vicky first v-i-c-k-i-n j-o-h-n john right right paul vicky, yeah vicky right and john. okay dot com and oh, then you can, great. and and also you can go to johncowsellmusic.com. I have a website and All of well. you people, make sure to visit the merch pages on these websites and get your merch. Do they have merch? I don't know. We, we just ordered our very first t-shirts and we picks. We don't have t-shirts. And, and, uh, 
and and uh, and we have like we're gonna. What do they say? Oh, you love our logo. I it's want awesome. Them. Well, what you can go see it on Instagram or something. Okay. It's out there somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. Vicky or just go to, it's, it's on, no, it's on vickyandjohn.com. I'm sure it's a logo out there. I don't have my phone. I usually have it right here. I'm going nuts. Well, you can't go there now. We're doing an episode. I sure could and would. I go to my phone all the time while we're doing this podcast for okay. information. All right, so all of you people out there, even the ones in the 22 other countries that are listening to us, this is your update. It's a great, I mean, see, here's the deal, folks. Now, we're we're doing stuff, the cow sills, we, we make wings. You know, do they get high enough? Do they get big enough? Are they going to be strong enough to carry everything? Never. Who knows? John and Vicky, sorry, vickyandjohn.com, they're making that. wings. They're elevating. Theirs could go as skyrocket high. And if we get enough wings <laughs> up there, all of the wings, all of the wings can fly. Meet me at the trunk of my car and I'll give you a CD. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, get, you get a label and it, hey, it's, man, fun. Yeah. Like, it's fun. I, I'm, got, we love hold it. On. No, no, it's hard it's to do on work, John. We can't see it. You know, he'll figure it. it. You got to hold it a certain way. What? Where? Oh. There you go. There, there you go. Don't be in nope. the middle, John. Stay middle. There. Oh, it's beautiful. Vicky Peterson, John Castle. John Castle, it. it's gorgeous. EPJC, VPJC, I love it. Love it. That's Thanks. what our guitar picks say. GPs. Can I address the GPs. audio listeners uh, while Paul's showing? showing us something? What are you What's showing? That's, <laughs> showing another Vicky, that's another Vicky and John. Paul's trying to show us something, but it's he's waving it a lot. <laughs> I can't see it either. <laughs> but that's excellent, man. We got a website, we got product, <laughs> oh, we got negotiations, uh, we, we got a future coming up. Uh, and we'll be looking to watch your wings. We're going to watch your wings, John. Oh, yeah, and man. Well, we keep flapping off. So, so let me ask you something. I just saw a video of Christian Love. Is that new? What is I don't this know what you're talking is? about. Oh, oh, okay. I just saw a brand new Christian Love video, like like you put a record out or something, and I just I, I was, he could have. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't follow those. Very good. Um, you have disassociated, people. rightfully so. So now I can give them a I didn't, fo I didn't follow anybody. I never follow anybody anyway. I have a question about the Beach Boys since you're not one anymore, and I've always wondered but never wanted to ask. Oh, I love yeah. it. What do, you want, what do you want to know? I want to know if Mike Love is the type of guy who won't listen to people, and and be, in one area especially, because surely he sees it and hears it when, you, when he does it. Because when he goes, Mike Love should not go on television and sing. OK, he's never going to get the mix he, he needs to get that voice into the track. It's it sticks out. We're all old, but you don't want your old highlighted on television. It is so unforgiving. It's like I wonder if there's even a sound guy from the band in that booth who can fix that. But it's been that bad for a long time. Question. Hey, what's your question, Bob? What's your question, Bob? Wow, well, you froze all that time. Unless you no, I've been there. just actually. That's called I was listening. <laughs> but Paul, and something Susan you're not there. used to. <laughs> oh, we were Paul, freezing. We yeah, weren't freezing. They, we were going like this. Those two were freezing too. All right, I was doing that. Me and Paul were. Pretending I didn't ask the question. Freeze. Okay. I think yeah. No, John, it won't work. <laughs> What's your <laughs> question? You can't do it that way. It doesn't work that way. I would have known. I'm sorry. Well, no, next I, question. I don't. <laughs> next think, question. I personally, since you're done with them, I don't think that anyone should allow Mike Love to sing on television, that it's unforgiving. He never sounds good. He shouldn't allow it. I don't think he sees those Good Morning America shows and listens or he doesn't care and no one's and he doesn't listen because other than that. Mike, you, no, no, you, that's my brother, Bob. Yeah, that's, no, no, Bob. that's my that's brother, right. Bob, right there. He's Mike, the one who's. Get your Hello. Man in the about booth on, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Get no, your Mike, man in the no. booth on television. Listen, Paul John have, have I, over. Okay. Yeah. Have no, I even said about. anything yet? No, yeah. no. I haven't said a word. No, we've rehearsed him all yeah. the time. He's doing all, no, he's doing all the talking. No. Bob is right. burning the bridge for wait, you. Yeah, wait, no, Bob, he's, he's burning the bridge for you. You wanted the councils. You wanted the councils to open You wanted the councils to open up how many shows for you? Yeah. How many shows was that? Yeah. But no, it's a no go. He's one, the the okay. he's one of the cow He's one of the cow to open for no 24 worries. years. 24 years he's one of the cow to open. <laughs> oh yeah. God, that was Make fun. Make me swallow that one, huh? <laughs> Don't get me going on that. 
All what's your question? Anyway, I was just what's curious. What's your question? He shouldn't be on television, television singing. It's too. No, old. you've given you, you. That wasn't a question. You gave him the uh, Here's opinion my piece, and that's good. You hold on to that. You guys, Tio, I have a question. Was, it's going to be a really good beast, one. And you guys are going to hold on. What? The question was, don't why don't the Beast Boys have their sound guy in a booth on a TV show? Nope. Producing that. They don't. The, no. the union thing still happens, Bob. And you yeah. can point all, you, all you want in those booths. You can point all you want and they'll got never it. get it. They're not going to get it, Bob. Okay, They're Susan. Not. Okay, John Thank Kelsey. You. Do you we remember would not have you got JC hit by a car in, in, in Ohio? A, 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 or what? Yeah, Paul. No, Paul, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, same, they same wouldn't thing. let JC, our sound guy, in there. So okay. go ahead, Susan. John, do you remember being hit by a car in Ohio? <laughs> frozen again. He's not frozen. <laughs> Answer the question. Answer the question. Susan, hello. How are you? Good. Do you remember being hit by a car? I remember being hit by a car. What do you remember of it? The screeching talk sound. About that on, night a lot. So I'd like to hear from it. the guy who actually got hit. <laughs> Dude, I'll I remember. Okay, okay. I'll remember. Is that you're gonna get uh, with it? We're gonna AI we, you so fast. Our Myers, my, our Myers Lake House. You know, you'd go downstairs in the winter, down the basement stairs, and your boots are all down there at the bottom of the stairs. And so, you know, I remember putting those on the black ones, and you got to get the buckle to think through and flip it over. You galoshes basically galoshes. with our shoes on. And we were just going out after dinner. We were, I don't know where we're going. And I don't know we're walking down the street. I think maybe to get ice cream or something stupid or just get out. I don't know. It was snowing. But those, it was snowing. But, it was okay, snowing yeah. really hard. And we but all I remember. In the middle. Yeah. And there were lights coming and I didn't get out of the street. And the car hit me and hit me under the wheel. Thank God it was black ice. And I just slid with the car. It never really went over me. So it just pushed me along. And then I remember. I remember not being under the tire, but I remember like getting in the car with dad holding me um, and going straight to the hospital with the same people who hit me. Yes. How old were you? Makes, How old were you? I, I had just turned five. Yeah, you were young. Because we that, talk about that, that night and they have or, their- or, or, or I was I was four because I remember my fifth birthday in the summer when we left that summer to go to Newport, back to Middletown, to the Wapping Roadhouse, oh. that trip. And I remember getting all the chip. And I remember that my last birthday there. And because the house was kind of empty. And I and I described it this in a, a book, things I've written down about that day and my birthday. And it was just Di's uh, family, you know, the typical mom's chocolate cake. And when they pulled the curtains down, I I I talked about I loved how orange the color was. And it was because our parents smoked and I didn't realize. And I remember moving from that house oh when God. they pulled things off the wall, the white squares on the wall. And I remember yeah. that because oh right. our, 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 oh, mom and dad, they just they smoked Palmel in the house. And 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 uh, and that was March. So summer was coming. And then we came to Rhode Island in my it fifth year because I because I still didn't start school that that spring because they kept me out another year until i was young. six six or seven and i remember Why? then we moved to the forest avenue house and why did was, they keep you out i don't know I guess i didn't go to, i just started first grade i didn't do kindergartens or anything oh, so. I see, I see. we all did that I, I never went to kindergarten i went yeah to well, like, susan went to mrs casey's mrs casey's life. yeah before but high. um your but, life in but, Ohio. I, I, my first grade, my first first grade, actually my first time at, at um, Forest Avenue School was Paul took me in for show and tell in fourth grade. He was in fourth grade, I think. What did and you take I, him in to show your brother? He, he took me to class with him and I was there the, the day with him. And that was so funny. And everybody was so nice to me. It was so cool. And I, I remember that day really well. But then I remember I started first grade and got, you know, attacked by these two guys for my milk money and like I was playing with the girls in the little house at the end I didn't know you're not supposed to do that yet and so you know I got teased and like punched in the stomach you know give you gives your money you know blah 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 so first grade yeah but then I was out of there that quick and we were in the Indian Avenue house and I started Howland School for first grade that was my official first grade was Howland School and you guys, I don't know if you know this, but my first day in Howland School, I just went with Barry and the neighborhood kids went and got on the school bus. Mom and dad didn't take me to school. 
on your now, first day? Paul, you went to Howland School, right? I think you yeah. were the only one. Okay, so they knew who I was by my by Barry and you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. so I get into the class, you know, I'm with Michael Devine and we go into or Terry O'Donnell rather, and we go we get in, he brings me into his classroom with him and I sit down. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, who, who I'm supposed to see. And so the lady came up to me. I was in a, in a wrong room. So they moved me to this other room where the teacher was Mrs. Silveria was her name. And she was gorgeous. And she had an MG white car, man. She was so cool. Anyway, so I get in there and I, they, I sit in a seat and there I'm scared to death. You know, I don't know anything about the school. And they hand me this thing to print my name on it and i put my name in a red dot so you can go to the bathroom you need to have a card okay but the next thing they went around and they asked each kid what their parents names were <laughs> did you know i did not know it was barbara or bud or bill because we had that beat out of us by yet yeah, you couldn't say anything but yes sir yes ma'am so when they asked me what your parents names were you i didn't. said i said mom and dad oh <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, yes, now, how humiliating was that? And I think there was laughter. I'm sure I was embarrassed by that. Oh, I mean, buddy. Here, fuck, I don't know. I'd call a mom and dad. And what do you call yours? Right. You know. John, yeah. real quick. John. But they should quick. have known my parents' names because of you guys. Yeah. What? So listen, my first grade is the same thing. They threw us on a bus at the Anchorage. I go into St. Joe's. It's first grade. I'm scared. I go up to Sister William Margo and she says, what's your name? And I go, Bobby Council, because that's the only name I ever heard. She says, your name's Robert. Go sit down. And I sat down and cried. So that was my first <laughs> Right, right. I've never heard right. the word, Robert. <clears throat> never heard the word. Now, her and I are going to have some major adventures later in the year, but that was the start. That is Man. very sad. Okay, we were, we were just, un we were undereducated children via parents. Before we were I'll even say. educated. <laughs> I'm saying we weren't, we were not given the skills that that we gave our kids i believe that we you know shared with our kids you know other kids knew their parents i think <laughs> in in our big family i think a lot of it was left to the other kids and they said fuck them i'm going to play baseball no absolutely. i'm kidding absolutely <laughs> no no i'm just uh -huh. saying you know I, my joke is i tell people i, I didn't meet my parents till like sit first grade <laughs> when i learned their names <laughs> i said i had five i had i had five older brothers before me i you know i knew them uh, to get to the parents, you had to go through through the other kids. Me, the very first three grades of my life was just sitting and staring at that cross with Jesus on it <laughs> and just thinking, they're telling me that could happen to me if I sin or whatever the thing is they're telling oh me. Was, I'm, af I'm afraid, yeah. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, okay, you know? Okay. And then I'm winning. A spelling bees are giving me glowing statues of that guy that can glow in my dark in my bedroom oh, yeah. from a freaking cross. It was so disturbing to me visually on a, on a, and I, I'm telling you later in life, I knew this I, at the time I, I was fascinated. I'm staring. I'm like, he's in the <laughs> classroom. You know that, you're, 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 you know, he's everywhere, you Bob. we don't know anything. I thought he was a friend of grandma. <laughs> I, I went to St. Augustine. I, I thought it was Auntie Jean's ex husband. I thought it was just Graham's <laughs> people. I'm like, wow, these are all Graham's people. <laughs> she true. she knew how to get she knew how to get rid of someone. <laughs> First time I saw Jesus on the wall was at Grandma Brooks's house, and then when I saw him afterward, I just never did. A, I always associated the two, Grandma and Jesus. I love the glow in the dark anything. I didn't care who that character yeah, glow was. Glow in the dark Jesus. But, is but man, and you and and who made an altar in a closet and put that thing on there to have that only be the light in oh, there and like Dickie. put a little doily. I know I did that. I put a doily on like for about that. 15 minutes. I came home I was did that. Hey, praying I did that a good, in, in a closet a good, with a little kneeling area and put the little light up Jesus or no, it was Mary. It was always you Mary. did that, Bob? I did it, but I was a good Catholic speller. Kid. I had Jesus, Mary, Joseph. I, geez, I had a, a bunch of another Jesus, you know. I was, terribly I was a smart guy. Got a lot of you, the dark you, collect, you collected the whole series. Like, I mean, it, 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 it just gave them to you. That's and superheroes, you, guys. You're in bed near your lamp, and you hold it right up to the light bulb, and it's going to really glow for a while, man, when you pull it back. Okay, hey. well, I had glow-in-the-dark rosaries when I got my first communion. So yes, yes, good. yes, yes, Susan. Yes. yes, good. All good stuff. All good stuff. Um, I had a glow in the dark i had a glow in the dark casper mask when we lived on whopping road i remember that i had a wendy 
It was really cool. And I can still smell that kind of plastic when you put yeah. the Halloween mask on your face. It's a certain smell. So, John, do you remember yeah. um, trick-or-treating off of Indian Avenue? We were talking a lot about the captain. Um, oh, of the man course. Who you could only get one thing off his table. Yeah, man. You couldn't have the coloring book and crayons. You could pick one. It was tough. Only tough one. There. That yeah. was a tough call going to that guy's house. Captain, I didn't like Cap Captain Robin. I thought he was mean. <laughs> and I like going to and I like and I like going to a Bove Chevrolet guy's house. He was Mike really Bove. Nice. Mike Bove. He was so nice, man. Yeah, we were, they had nice there. kids too. I remember going over to them. Yep, me too. They yeah, were awesome. General, but yeah, I, the, yeah. Man, when we lived in Indianapolis, that was the biggest haul of trick or treat candy we I think any of us ever saw ever Pretty again. Agree with that. that. There were a lot of pillowcases that was, in that house. Filled. Yeah, man. And, and pillowcases just, filled, was, and the smell. And listen, to, listen to Beetle Records in that man eating candy. I'm, like I'm there on that. We fanned out like a small army, and I must say, I don't. I have no memory of mom saying, "Get some of pillowcases in here. We got to put all." No. No, we got to keep all of our stuff. I oh, never garden, handed over this. a pillowcase. And nobody ever awesome. through it. And even though and we I, talked I about I separate that, all this stuff. I get all my mounds or the, you know, the the <laughs> the, 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 the Turkish taffies, the thing, the smarties, they all separate, mm -hmm. you know. They used to start God, talking about time. apples and how we couldn't have apples anymore. I threw that stuff away. We're putting yeah. razor blades <laughs> in them. And I remember thinking, we don't eat the fruit anyway. Who is no. Yeah, no. there was no T there was no TV show, Susan, mm -hmm. at that time coming on and telling parents there's razor blades in the mm -hmm. trick-or-treat mm -hmm. apple. Well, how yeah, did you when we were it? kids. That's years and years later. Yeah. <laughs> Susan. Not when, when we razor, were kids, no. <laughs> yeah. Not the when razor, we were kids. Though. When the no. razor when the razor blade story came, that's when the parents started collecting the pillowcases, breaking the candy bars in half, breaking the apples, yeah. cutting the fruit. It became a nightmare. Oh, okay. I, Bob, I Paul, Susan, you might remember this one. This is really good. But the best Halloween party in the garage of the um, Wapping Road house with the bobbin for apples and all. I yeah. That was, a, was that? that. There was always a basket of apples at the door. No, but that was that was in was that Wapping the house Road. That had the there was a Halloween party. Up? Mom had who somebody had a Halloween party. I don't know. Why. I know what he's talking about. It was Maybe it was the Cub Scout. Maybe it was Cub Scout. I'm remembering part. related, maybe because she yeah. was a den mom. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. wow. kids I'm were remembering that old party. Cub Scouts were Ohio. Cub Scouts were we. we well, were Cub Scouts, but school. Bob, Cub Scouts for me was two, 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 two weeks oh. in Wapping Road. I got as far as a Bobcat pin and making a a, a Clorox piggy bank. And then we were working at the Fusion or King after that. So Cub Scouts went away. <laughs> Career began. Yeah, see? Wow. Oh, you think you want to be a kid, huh? No, but that was best. And, and, one, and one more one more Whopping Road story. So Susan, because she loves this one too. Well, aside from playing Sea Hunt and pulling our socks off halfway and, and pulling ourselves along the floors of that particular <laughs> house too, I remember. We, we all were Mike Nelson. Yeah, it was um, great. And slicing the guy's hose so they'll drown, you know. Yeah. Um, but Barry always wants to run away, and he would tell yeah. us this. And we, and it was me, Barry, Barry and Susan and in the room. We shared a room at the end, and I was the vaporizer kid in the crib when Susan wasn't in it, you know. And Barry talked us into like, okay, we're going to run away because we've been watching rascals and stuff, you know. You out the window, tie the sheet knots. Barry, and we had a ground floor room. It worked. We were on the ground floor. We went out first thing in the morning. We took Susan, me. And we head out for, up towards the Casey's in our pajamas with the dew on the ground, foggy, foggy, out our window. And, and then didn't you and I chicken out? Yeah, we, Susan, I said, we shouldn't do this. You know, we but were walking Barry, we're halfway up to where the, and I could see the horse. What was that horse's name? <sighs> Chatterbox. Chatterbox. Was it? Thank you. And yeah. I started getting scared because I knew we were going to have to go by Chatterbox at some point. Oh, we were going to have to. My fear was like getting, being gone too long and coming home and then Them I mean, we out. all know what happens even at all that I age know you know John you and watch I everything <laughs> halfway up the road <laughs> yeah we went back and then barry had to put up with our decision and had to come back too yeah so. it was good stuff. And well what was the plan to sleep in the hay at the case we were going to the we case. don't know we were just going with barry he, we were just running away from home whatever we that yeah. meant 
We're running. I'm away. five. I'm five still. I'm singing my hillbilly baby in the living room with Uncle Bob and his, you know, tape <laughs> recorder. Stuff. That was a great one. I love that. And, th and that's and then that's the beginning of Susan's cows. Yes, was that's Wapping right. Road. Wapping Road. And that's the people that from, from from then on, all cows are Susan's cows. That is correct. Up until our first tour, where finally, when we ventured out into the world, as we're driving away in our bus, I start seeing all these cows, and I'm getting a little anxious because I'm saying to mom, "What? They're out. They got out." And, and you guys, are like, yeah, your cows got out. You're not taking care of them. They're everywhere now, and I'm freaking out. And mom goes, "All right, that's it." That's enough about the cows. Quit telling her all the cows are her cows. She got, she took me. She those are not your cows. They were in the backyard of our house. They were not yours. These are not all your cows. And I was like, what? And do you remember the hurricane and going out and getting up on the doghouse and just leaning into the wind? Sure do. Sure do. Thing about the Whopping Roadhouse was yeah. the attic they had us all sleeping in was 150 degrees in the summer yeah, and 10 what? degrees uh, in the winter. And you and guys you, had that fan going. Stairs, oh. It gets hotter and hotter as you go oh, up. I'll never forget I remember, it. I remember the horror okay. house you guys made up there. The And Danny Fitzgerald was there and you had a, a bloody thumb in a box. I remember coming up and going through there. It was so scary. Maybe that's why or, I was afraid of No, Danny no, was that was, no, that's, Danny. I'm sorry. That, Danny's that's Ohio. the wrong house. No. Oh, thank you. That was the Ohio house with another attic situation. Yeah. But, yeah. He came to Rhode Island too. I see him walking. Yeah, he visited, he, he visited in Whopping Road. Definitely. Visited, I remember yeah. him walking up. And, and, and Ronnie Frazine all the time too. Yeah, him and Ronnie. Mary Jane was there yeah. too. Whopping Road yeah. was yep. a bit of a Well, Mary Jane was Ohio. She 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 came twice in Ohio. I remember that. I was born. I think she came to have, see me. In oh, they all came in Ohio once. Because she, she had that baseball husband, and he brought us gloves and balls and oh, on bats. Oh, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. And one visit in Ohio. Yeah. yeah, we, I, yeah. Don't, I don't remember Ken that. I heard about it. Whirly. Well, there you hey, go. Hey, John. Who, who, who are you guys talking about with the baseball husband? John L's husband, the Whirly ball player. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. Ohio. But John. Do you remember going to the World's Fair with me, on L, yeah. Mom, and Barry, and you getting lost? Yes! Oh, I was, was there. there, too. Yeah. Paul, you were with us, right? Dude, we were yeah, all in that lost. turquoise. I did get lost. I remember that. Yeah. That freaked I, me. I had big, big ski lip going on that whole time. John gets oh, lost God. at the How'd World's Fair. How'd you get found? Oh, I know. I he found. went to a guy. Uh, somebody, he went to, somebody picked him up and said, okay, here, we got this kid. And then they announced it. That's I cry, Bob. Just... People will know something's wrong with me if, if they that, find me alone. How... And that's how it worked in the old days, folks. Yeah. Just <laughs> Today, crying. You throw up a drone. Mom, mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Crazy. we got to end this. We got to end this. I know, we'll I know, I know. Dude, I got a lot so, of things to do. I what's pack, what's I going go. on, guys? <laughs> what's going yeah. on? Wait, yeah, we'll Polly, what's, you, what's new with you? We're just going to have to drag what him is out new here. You will all realize. What's new with me is I got to pack. We leave you back on the road. What are you doing next? Yeah, what's next for you? I got a couple of gigs coming up, and then uh, I think I told you we're gonna finish our visit out here because we got to go back in. Yeah. In September first, we leave New York and go back to California. So you we're trying to fit in our our East Coast visitations. We got we got a we probably have like four or five days before we go home. Just all things, but but it's really fun, you guys. We're having a blast. We see awesome. you everywhere. Awesome. We love you guys. We, like like you guys, we laugh a lot on stage. And, <laughs> yes. You know, it's, just, it's, 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 it's like you guys, an, an evening with. <laughs> yeah. And you're in charge of your own stuff. You know, so you're fun. in charge of, you know, it's great. And, and we have such years of experience of comfort being up there. So, so it just, so it, everybody has a great time. Oh, you know? love yeah. it. Love yeah. it. Oh, well, John, we will have you back and it won't be Where's John?